Salve, fellow YouTubers! 93 Monster Mike here again. If you recall from my previous video, I did make a Dralagon sculpture out of polymer clay and stuff. Well, I'm honestly not exactly 100% thrilled about the overall final product, so to say. The, the jaw is a, the jaw of it's kind of misaligned. And it seems a little too chunky here and there, so to say. The tail is actually also very, very long and flatter than it sh than I originally intended, and maybe also a little too tall. So I just went back to Michael's and picked up some more uh, polymer clay, you know this stuff, which is pretty darn good good stuff to use if you want to like try to sculpt something or whatever. It's basically the same as Sculpey. So I then went ahead and uh, made myself another Dralagon sculpture. If you saw from my other video I was working on another one. So here is Dralagon V2 sculpt as I call. Uh, not as much detail as I would have hoped like primarily in the de with detail and skin but the underside Definitely a lot more, but the tail is still kind of long. The shape is what I kind of sort of intended, but the length is not exactly. Also, if you look to the front, you'll notice he's uh, kind of like leaning to the side a bit. And along with his tail. So... But the colors are definitely what I, what, how I wanted Dralagon to be. So when I noticed that he was kind of leaning to the side and I really didn't want that in the sculpture, I was like, okay, maybe third time's the charm? And here is Dralagon V3. Slightly different, different sculpt, especially in the head. A bit of a slimmer build, so to say. Not as long of a tail. And also a different painting technique, like trying to use like the, uh, get like a black wash to help get details into the scales, which this time around, I did add skin detail to make it look much more like the scales of a crocodile or an alligator. And overall, this one I think is actually pretty good. But the the buccal horns are not exactly as spaced out as I would have wanted them. Uh, for those who don't know, buccal basically means cheek in Latin. And by cheek, I mean like a facial cheek. Not the... Y y you know what I mean. Oh, and this time I used a different, type, different kind of paint for the transparent scales here. It's... Uh, yeah, Deco Art Neon Lights Fluorescent. Yeah, this stuff. This is what I used for these scales right here instead of the typical acrylic paint. So, yeah. And when I noticed that the head did not exactly turn out the way I wanted, I still had some polymer clay left and still some more armature. And I was like, oh, what the heck. So, fourth and final Dralagon sculpture. This time around, basically some of the same proportions, but different shaped head, and this time the buccal horns are more spaced out. Similar painting style technique with the dry, you know, with the wash, and maybe also a little bit of dry brushing as well, I'm not entirely sure. The jaw is kind of leaning a bit like that. But overall, this one, I think is actually pretty okay, and the blade tip is a little smaller than before, but it's the overall shape of what I wanted. Legs seem a little on the... kind of seem a bit like sausages. I mean, they look okay in the front, but to the side, they don't really look all that well developed. So here's what I want to ask you guys. Of these three Dragon sculptures, which one do you like the most? 
obviously, I put a lot of hard work into each of these. I, uh... I'm, I'm kind of... Kind of not really sure about which Dragon Sculpture I like the most. I'm kind of stuck between these two, obviously. But I kind of want to hear from you guys. Which Of these two Dragon Sculptures, which one do you think looks... Has the best overall look and looks probably the closest to the original Lego figure that I've made. I I I I really do appreciate the feedback. Feedback. And in case you all are wondering, yes, they are still in their six-inch scale range. So there's the original Lego thing. So yeah. And I do apologize for the lack of videos and activity lately, mainly because I've been busy with my with my part-time job, stuff around home, and other things. It's life. I do have a life outside of YouTube. So, yeah. Well, that's pretty much all I got. Thanks again. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like the video, feel free to hit the like button. Feel free to maybe hit the notification bell to know whenever I upload a video. And if you haven't already, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Until then, this has been 93 Monster Mike. Wale!